when God withdraws from you, the resultant effect of God's absence is hellfire. See, God does not give you hell. Mm -mm. He doesn't have one to give. He, but when God's life pulls back, the absence of the pulling back of God is the entrance of darkness, the entrance of death, and the entrance of hellfire. Hellfire is the absence of God. See, God keeps saying, I love you. I want you. I died for you. I love you. You keep telling God, I don't want. I don't want. We bring gospel to you. I don't want. In God's long suffering, he keeps sending different people to you. He keeps walking through them. You keep saying, I don't want. 30 years, 50 years of your life, you're saying, I don't want. God is still persisting in his mercy. He's still begging you. He's still reaching you. Even though you say, God, you're stupid, he blesses you. You say, God, you're an idiot, he protects you. You say, God, you're not even there. He, he allows you to enjoy rain, sunlight, goodness, good health. He has not allowed any evil to befall you. Because he is wooing you with goodness. To see if you will consider his mercy in your life. So after 65 years, you say no. And as you say no, you died. As you died, God withdraws. Because you have told him you don't want him. So he leaves you to face eternity by yourself. And because he's not in you to be the light, you face darkness. Because he's not in you to be life, you face death. And because he's not in you to be heaven, you face hell. Hell, death, darkness is the absence of God. It's not like God will pour fire on people. He doesn't have it to pour. The absence of God is death. The absence of God. You know, people don't die until life lives. Death is the absence of life. See, darkness cannot enter this room as long as these lights are on. But turn the lights off. You don't need an invitation for darkness. It is automatic that when light leaves, darkness enters. It is automatic that when life leaves, death enters. It is automatic that when you are not granted access to heaven, hell comes. It's not God. God's mercy and grace is to delay it and keep begging you and keep treating you nicely and keep helping you. And if you reject then God does not force his way. He will have to accept your request by leaving you. That is why he is just. He is just. And the justifier. Go back to Romans 3, my brother. That he may be just. And the justifier. He is just. He doesn't have anger he has love he doesn't have death he has life he doesn't have darkness he has light his response to darkness is mercy his mercy is life penetrating death his mercy is light coming to darkness his grace is love coming to hatred all god has is a single identity he is life he is light he is love no darkness he has no hand in the composition of evil 